Meet Turtle Biscuit, a man we all love and enjoy, also known as the Cynical Brit, has recently been spotted in America. It's been a while since he's been in America, because it wasn't always like that. Two years ago, he got kicked out of the United States. Well, he explains it better in his mailbox, the one of the 24th of April 2012, so make sure you've watched that first. Because I had some doubts on that video. Clearly, he was hiding something. And I am going to find out. Time for me to go in deeper into the biscuit. It all started over two years ago. TB was happily married with his wife in America. And he was able to obtain a visa to stay there for a limited amount of time. So he got advice from someone that he could stay longer in the United States if he moved in and out of it frequently. But the authorities didn't really like that. They thought there was something wrong with this Englishman. They just couldn't put their finger on it. Well, I can't blame them. He's clearly not a terrorist. But then what is he? And then it came to me. It was so obvious. Total Biscuit is a Russian mail-order bride. I know, right? Why didn't we see this sooner? The looks, that chest, and the fact that in Soviet Russia, everything goes the other way around. So the authorities probably thought that Total Biscuit always went back to the mother country to feed her children with American dollars. And there is no American that will give his money to a damn socialist. So they kicked him out of the country, for the land of the free is only for the rich, the handsome, the talented, and maybe the lucky ones too. So TB had to return to Britain, where he tried everything to gain money to help his family down in the west, vigorously finding a way to get back to the promised land. With the hopes of getting the highest riches in the world, he started a YouTube channel and named it Total Halibut. Why would you ask? <laughs> Simple. Because of his channel name, he was able to lure the halibut fishing community to his channel. However, shortly he realized that catching those two viewers wasn't going to pay his trip back to America. So he needed to find a new way to get views. Then he saw Simon and Lewis's videos and then it hit him. He became a Reply Girl. So not only did he trick fishermen to join his channel, he now also tricked the entire Yoxcast fan base. That's how Turtle Biscuit came in touch with Simon Lane, one of the biggest Reply Girl watchers on the internet. His presence alone equals 22.3% of the entire ad revenue the Reply Girls are able to get. Don't worry guys, Simon always downvotes. Thanks to all the money of being a Reply Girl, TB was finally able to do what he always wanted to do, become an eSport commentator. For all you guys who are new to the whole eSport thing, I will explain it for you. Well, sports is self-explanatory, of course, but what does the E stands for? You may not know it, but everyone on YouTube uses this E. The E stands for Entropy! That's right, just look underneath the YouTube video and you'll find amazing entropy. Chaos is everywhere, not a single mind will be left sane. Unless you are TB. He likes the stuff, he's addicted to it. He can't stop watching comments even if it will kill him. Which it shall. If you look at his Twitter page, you can see that his sole purpose is to commentate on every so-called idiot he can find. Trying his best to quench his thirst for entropy sports. A thirst that might never be sated. Because of his masochistic addiction, he is now one of the best esports casters in the world. He is now even recognized by America the country with the highest tier of retarded comments. Now, as an eSportcaster, he is finally able to return to America with a whole new residential visa. And you know what? Apparently, he's having a good time. But how long will he be able to maintain his sanity?